I've had about three days with the Wise Watch, and I am a user of the Wise Band. Check out the video in the video description below for the Wise Band information. Let's see if this Wise Watch can replace my Wise Band. Here's a little spoiler for you. You betcha. I probably have a little bit of a problem with wrist devices. I have all of these devices and uh, these are the three that I'm really down to now. I use the Wise Band, the TicWatch C2 Plus, and now the Wise Watch. I do anticipate though that I will not be using the Wise Band much longer. Let's jump on over to the Wise website and check out the specs on this Wise Watch, which was kind of odd that there wasn't a link on the main page, but digging down, we did find that this is available in a 47 and a 44 millimeter band for those of you with smaller wrist. We have an oxygen sensor. We have a massive 1.75 inch screen. Shortcuts to our Wise shortcuts that we develop in our Wise app. We can mix and match designs for the watch face. It's water resistant up to two meters. That's nice. I can shower with it. It speaks our body language with heart rate, sleep monitoring, steps. We can get notifications from our popular apps. It has nine days of battery life and optional leather and silicone bands are available in various colors. My watch came in this stylish manila envelope. We'll rip that right open and get right to the box. And inside we have a white box that contains the Wise Watch 47. 47 stands for 47 millimeters. It has sleep tracking, customizable screens, and it's waterproof. Here's some more information. Women's health tracking, activity and heart rate tracking, and blood oxygen. This thing appears to have everything we need to stay in tip top shape. Let's break this box open. Let's get this thing open. Let's pull out this little sliding white insert. Throw this box over here to the side, and here it is. Oh boy, it does look like an Apple Watch, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get that out of the box here. We'll open that up and see what else we have in here. We first of all have a, let's get that out of there. There we go, there's the watch. Inside we have the USB cable there with a magnetic connector to charge our watch. We also have our quick start guide. Let's pull that out here. And in the quick start guide, we have a few things here. We have our activation. We have our setup instructions with QR code. There's our instructions on how to use a QR code to connect with our WISE app. It does use the same WISE app as every other WISE device. Here are our controls, which I'll spend time demonstrating a little bit later on in the video. Here's our FCC warning. There's our quick start guide. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and pull off the little protective screen plastic here. It's a beautiful looking little watch, actually. It is aluminum. And on the back, we have these lights. When the lights are green, it's checking our pulse. And when it's red, it is checking our oxygen level. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Wow, a lot of little dust on here for being just in a shipping box. Anyway, let's see how this cable connects. Ooh, magnetic, I like that. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this thing started charging with that cable. We'll go ahead and plug that in and you have to get it just right. The nice thing about it is it will not let you change the polarity. You have to switch this thing around to the right direction before it will connect. Once you do, it'll snap right on there and begin the charging process. Let's go ahead and flip it over and see what we have. Looks like we had a little bit of charge on the battery, only about 58%. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on now after it's had a chance to charge. And the first thing we need to do is scan the QR code with the Wise app. Let's go ahead and shut that down. And once again, here's what's included in the Wise Watch box. We get the Wise Watch, we get the USB cable, and we get the quick start guide. That is it. That's all we get. Let's fire up the Wise app and get this baby connected. You can see all the devices I have. We're gonna add a device now. We're gonna allow it to take pictures and video and everything we need. We're gonna scan that QR code and we are pairing. That is one quick process for pairing. I do appreciate that. That's probably the easiest pairing of anything I've seen. Here's a little tutorial, a little video tutorial. This is available in the help later if you wanna just bypass through this and come back to it later. These are all the cool things that you can do and enjoy your wise watch. Well, I hope so. And of course, first thing, we need to upgrade the firmware, which is par for the course for every wise app I break out of a box that connects to the application. So let's go ahead and get that firmware upgraded. And congratulations, I'm upgraded to version 0.12.36. That's kind of odd. Let's go ahead and look at our clock face options. Here are some options we have. We'll go ahead and try and select one. And no, we have to remove one first. So we'll come back to that later. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the applications. Let's set our notifications for phone and text for me. Those are the only notifications I want. This provides the watch access to that. We'll have a stretch reminder. 
We can also set up our activity goals for steps. We can set up our do not disturb and the times for that to occur. We can raise to wake our watch at specific times. We orient to on the left hand or right hand. We can set our app to run in the background so we get our notifications. We can set our weather location. We can move our shortcuts that we've created in the Wise app over to the watch for quick access. See in the application that we can check our activity levels not only on the watch, but also in there. And then we can transfer those activities levels to our Google Fit account, where we establish our weight and our birth year and our height so that we can keep an eye on all of that great information. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the watch now. You can see that we operate it with a series of swipes. We can swipe up, we can swipe right for the applications that we have on the phone. You cannot install additional applications. These are the built-in apps such as this one, which is for running. I am not going to run right now for you. However, we can cancel that by simply tapping the button, press stop, and we can end that exercise. We also have another application that shows our data, such as calories and steps taken. Press our button to go back. We also have our O2 sensor, so we can check our blood oxygen. We can also, let's go ahead and cancel that. There we go. We can also check our heart rate by clicking this application. Cancel that with our main button. We'll interrupt that, we'll come back. Let's go ahead now and check our sleep pattern. Here's a night's sleep. You can see I supposedly slept for nine hours. I was just in bed for nine hours, but you can see my light sleep and my deep sleep. We also have an alarm that we can set. It does work really well. It has woken me up the last couple of mornings. We can set a quick timer. Here are shortcuts that I've moved over so I can turn the lights on in my basement with just a tap of that button right there because I use wise lights all throughout the house. Here we can check our weather in Columbus, Indiana. And then finally, we have a settings area, which has additional settings on the watch. So if you want to change your watch face, you don't have to go back to the app. You can do that right from the watch itself. We can also change our heart rate. We can change the brightness of the screen and we can turn our do not disturb on and off. That is also available in another swipe. And you can see that we can even turn the watch off and reset it and change our raise to wake settings. I really appreciate all the options that are available on the watch itself without having to go to the application. Now, if we scroll from left to right, then you can see that we have quick access to our data. We don't have to go back to that application to do that. Swipe down and we have notifications which are blurred to protect sensitive data. So that demonstration should give you a good feel for how gestures work on the Wise watch as well as that main button. Now let's compare this watch with the Wise band, which I have mentioned earlier. This is the device I was using when I'm not wearing my TicWatch C2 Plus. Be sure to check out my companion blog post where I explain when I use each device. What I'm demonstrating here is the difference in the interface. So here's our weather for both devices and you can see it's very similar but in order to use the wise band it's a lot of swiping you've got to do three and four and five swipes to do the same things that you can do on the wise watch with a single tap of the button so this isn't a full review of the wise watch but i do want to say that i will no longer be using the wise band the wise watch will replace the wise band there's just no reason for me to keep the band anymore the wise watch is more capable it is cheaper the wise band was 25 dollars, and you can get the wise watch watch for $19. Why in the world would you buy the Wise Band? Now, if you prefer a smaller fitness tracking device with limited capabilities at a higher cost, maybe you want the Wise Band. However, I'm going to stick with the Wise Watch. I will be putting the Wise Band back in a drawer somewhere. It will probably sit there for years. Well, one day I'll we'll break it out and go, wow, that, oh, I remember that device. But in the meantime, the Wise Watch will supplement my TicWatch C2 Plus. I've been wearing the Wise Watch for the last four days, and I believe I will get about seven to eight days of battery life. Now, I have turned on constant heart rate checking. Every five minutes, it's checking a heart rate and I'm getting that data. If I had that turned off, I could probably get that nine days of battery life pretty easily. However, that nine days is pretty comparable to what I was getting with the Wise Band. Okay, let's wrap this video up with just a quick recommendation. I would recommend this thing. For 20 bucks, you cannot go wrong. Even if you wear another smart device on your wrist like I do, you're probably gonna find that this is a great $20 supplement. And with nine days of battery life, I can throw this in my bag for a week long vacation and not have to worry about carrying along a charger. So there you go, that is it. My quick first use and open the box of the Wise Watch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, be sure and leave those down below. And again, check out that companion blog post where you'll find additional thoughts that I have. And thanks for watching.